morning tubers. It's Saturday morning. That's the time. Uh, let's see. Thursday evening, I applied the rondo on it. And then didn't do anything yesterday. I, uh, well, I did. I went furniture shopping with, with Nancy all day. Uh, we're looking for a sectional. Uh, we didn't buy one, down to two possibilities, and we got to go again to this other furniture store. Thank God that one's right by the house. <clears throat> so I sanded it with uh, on the DA with uh, pretty much 80 grit. I mean, there's some areas that if you keep going down, you're just going to wear through, so you're just going to have to give up and start mudding. So. I mean, you're not going to get it perfectly smooth because of the area you're in. The mud's going to do that. One of these days, I'll learn how to spread it. So I got the top done in mud. And then uh, while, right before I get ready to take that out back, well, tag team on these, to DA it, I'll sit there and uh, mud that up. So while one's drying, I'm sanding the other. So I'm always constantly, I'll, I'll be able to work back and forth from one to the other. <clears throat> Found some cup holders. Almost exactly what I was looking for. But each one will go in here, roughly right about there, in the black plastic like in the front. Tied down the same way. Those panels are tied down. So, I don't know what I'm going to put in there. I'm going to make the panel for it, but I don't know. A monitor would be nice in there for the guys in the back seat, but I don't plan on having too many people in the back seat. I don't know. And had to buy me, of course, a brand new bowl saw to sit there and put those uh, three and three eighths, right? Yep. Put those in, so. Some more plastic. Here's the leftover sheet from the front. Uh, so we're wrapping up this console. So we're going to sand this before it gets mud again. We're going to drill the holes for the for the breaker panel. Uh, get that sanded in, in mud and be and see where this is at. Then we're going to test fit them again. Pull them back out and then see what we need as far as body work is concerned then 2k primer sand black sand wet sand 2k primer sand wet sand black sand whatever however it goes and then paint and I ordered another quart of the Eastwood flat black and we have to take let's see the base out of this one well, actually both of them, because we're going to have to repaint both of them. But the base has the two runs on the front console that I showed you guys about. So, we put this in. And uh, get this moving on. I'm starting to babble. Alright guys, you have a good one. Uh, we'll pick this up uh, when this cures and gets ready to go outside. and I'll hit that with mud. And while that's drying, this will be being sanded. I have to put another another stick underneath here, though. So I better do that before this goes out sanding. So yeah, we're gonna probably have, yeah we're gonna have to sit there and smooth it out. We got some runs from the resin on there, so I'll have to take it out and sand it. So this is the problem: let it cure for two hours, and so you sit and go on the internet and watch YouTube. Later. Hey tubers, man that tool bench is trashed. We're cleaning it tonight. Yeah, we're cleaning it tonight. Alright, mud. Uh, it's just about there. It's dry to the touch, but she ain't dry all the way through. Sanded, mud on here. Low spot. Low spot. Low spot. When you come on this side, you definitely see the low spot there. And there's something there, and there's something there, and then right there. So let's mix up another batch of mud and uh, get this stuff all covered up. I don't know what this is. 
Oh, there's a hole there. Oh. Okay. All right. Pack it. Later, guys. Second coat of mud on the bottom. It looked like an ocean. It still probably does. Uh, sides got touch-up coat on it. And, uh, yeah. So, that's where we're at. It's been a long day. And uh, I'm not even done. I want to have it done. And I want to be test fitting it again tonight. That's the goal. So, no more DA on that. Because it is touched. It sh we shouldn't need it. All hand sanding and block sanding from now. This D will DA on the bottom. But I haven't. The, the sides need work. And I haven't done the sides. I wanted to concentrate and get the bottom as level as I could. So, that's where we're at. And it still doesn't look to be too level, but we'll, we won't know until we put the sand around it. So, when I get more, I'll bring you guys back later. Alright, I'm going to take a break. Nancy's going to get up, get ready for work. And then I'll come back out here and probably put a movie on the TV and tinker with this. I think we're going to put it in, test fit it. Uh, I did sand the last coat of mud. That'll... Something there, they got a this is low here, it didn't hit, this is low. Hole, this is low. Okay, so we'll give it one more skim coat and then hit it with hundred or see this is 150 grit. So yeah, we're stepping up grits now. So I had to redrill that hole because it got I need to get the Dremel in here and start cleaning this stuff up. So I'm done for the day. I got a lot done. So, uh, when I get to tomorrow's chore days, we'll see if we get anything done. And then uh, we'll be back on this on Monday. Everybody have a good one. Later. I know I said I was going to call it quits, but yeah, sorry about the fan. But yeah. Test fit. One imperfect. So the only question I got is I want to leave this like this. I don't know because see it comes up on an angle and then it drops down and then into there. Yeah, yeah. Just rest the screwdriver there. I don't know. But we'll see. But yeah. Still don't know what I'm going to put in here but this is going to be a panel. Oh sorry. Don't know what I'm going to put in there, but this still is going to be a panel. Hey, tubers. When did I start this today? Monday, uh, around noon. We're we'll going on 3.30. All the panel frames are in. All the way. Like I said, one, two, three, four panels. Uh, this is going to be pulled away, set aside. <clears throat> Then I'm pulling the base out and we're getting ready to uh, put some more filler on the sides. So when I get more, I'll bring you guys back later. Hey, tubers. Uh, I didn't take one video until tonight. <laughs> or is it late this afternoon? It's going on five. Been out there sanding. Yep. So, rattle can primer. And I do this so I can find all the little imperfections in the fiberglass mat and rosin. I think you've got it covered with the uh, with Bondo or the body filler. There's a low spot in the filler and this end needs something. But yeah, that's all what this is. So, but it makes it easier to find them. And then you got a couple on the side here. So, we let this dry. We'll sit there and put another, uh, we'll fill up these with some filler. Uh, let it dry and then sand it. We're in 120, 120 grit now. Yeah, 120 grit. This is still in 100 grit. We're still working on this. This is getting to the point to where it's going to be able to get rattle can primer on it. But we got a lot more yet to do on this before it gets to that stage. 
Here is where I want to concentrate and break up and work at one, uh, work on the base and get that done and get once I know it's done and it's ready for primer and blocking, then then we move on to the next one. But I want to concentrate all my efforts on this one to sit there and make sure I get all the little pinholes and everything else. So, you know, this is from rosin in the, in the net. I didn't get enough rosin down in there, but it'll cover up nicely with filler. So, so that's it for uh, Wednesday night. And uh, see tomorrow. I got to pull the old stove out, and because the new one's being delivered Friday. That's the other thing we did last Friday was looking for a new stove or range or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. So it'll probably be tomorrow afternoon that we'll be on back out here on this. Yeah. Uh, let's see the east. Side. Let's see, I went. Napa today and got some more hardener because once you open this stuff it it goes paint's still good but once you open I opened this and sat there and we opened it and we probably about a half a with the quart cans probably about a half a quart if that not even that made up and uh, sprayed it and then when I came to go grab it again today or yesterday you know, the hardener was hard so I had to go to Napa and get another one so that's who uh, sells Martin Senior so that's where I'm at and I'm babbling when I get more I'll bring you guys back later hey tubers alright I was a little generous with the mud since I was packing some holes so but yeah, we'll sand her down tomorrow. Uh, played around with some mud and trying to see what I can do on the ledges there. We'll sand this down and see how it goes. Uh, this is in 100 grit and uh, it has an even, not even close. I mean, there's this thing probably be full of holes, but thankfully the sides are solid. So the only place we got to worry about is up here. You can see a spot right there. See this here? See? So this isn't even ready to rattle can primer yet. So, all right. Uh, having a cocktail and watching Ice Station Zebra. And like I said, this mud is probably, yeah, it's still, see, a little tacky. I just put it on probably maybe about. 20 minutes ago. Alright, later. Uh oh, the Russians have landed. Uh, it's the end of Ice Station, towards the end of Ice Station Zebra. Alright. <clears throat> Sitting there looking at design on the top here because we're still not done yet. Uh, we got uh, the fuse panel to put in, we've got cup holders to put in. If I put this one in roughly right around here I need to trim this. See the red? Yeah. Roughly right around in there. Hold, hold on. Damn, I didn't think it was this loud. Come on. Alright. So then <clears throat> so I get this cup and this cup will be placed and I don't care if they're symmetrical or whatever but this will be placed right here so I sat there and I thought okay well let's put this one see the radius put it right here okay and this one will be roughly right here oh that'd be pretty cool yeah so then if I do I still have the panel to put in here I don't want to put it in the base, I want to put it in here. I might rethink that. So if I put that here, and then this here, well that sucks because now it's really going to be difficult to, uh, and these are deep enough to where they got to go. See, before they even come close to setting, so they got to go down and they'll set in here. 
So <clears throat> then I was thinking, let's put this here. So whatever I decide to put in here for the passenger, like maybe a charging station or whatever, this could be a cup, you know, we could put one of those phone adapter things in there and for the phones and everything. And then we can put this here, roughly right there, and I can get it from here and also from underneath here because it's still open in here. So, <clears throat> I don't know, we're kicking it around. Or I can sit there and take this, not worry about it, pull this back up, and figure out a mounting place for it down here. But then that means and we'd have to coordinate it with an opening in here. So if you do that, so you don't have to pull the whole thing apart to replace a fuse. And it needs to go in like this, and I don't know where I would want to put it in here. Because now we're going to have to put lock. Okay, I have. Nah, I do not like it coming in the bottom. No. No, I do not want it coming in the bottom. Right. Yeah, I want to keep it. Because we got power windows and everything else, I'm going to keep it up on top because in case it's a... Because of the accessory fuse, I want to be able to pour full four screws, pop open the panel, look and take a look and see what, what fuse is blowing. Keep it open and then have double on top and trying to peer down. No, no, we'll do it the easy way. All right, so that's what I'm playing around here with. Ooh, he's got an exploding device. All right, everybody have a good evening. Later. Oops, cocktail hour done. Uh, time for me to get in there. It's getting late. Went ahead and decided fuse panel right here. Need to cut this out, but I got a center line already marked and right there. And that center line is marked in between here. And it lines up, if you look, right there with that one. So. That's when we, let's see, and the 3 8 hole saw that they said should do it. Looks like it will. Yep. So, at least that bit of information was good. Now, let's see how far I can tear apart a piece piece of plastic once I cut it to here. I wonder should I drill the hole first then cut it to fit the panel? Should I cut the panel then to drill the hole? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to get a shot with, with the water back and going in and watch uh, all the people on TV tell lies to me. Talk to you later. Good evening. Evening tubers. It's what Thursday night. Uh, Nancy was off today so we spent the day together so she's taking a nap now or actually she's going to bed because she didn't go to bed when she got home from work today so but we got to go one more store tomorrow and then we're done with it. But anyway uh -huh. but it don't go down that far. It'll go up to about, say, right about there. That'll be the height with the handle on there. So, so if you put that there, it won't go down all the way. So hang on. And this goes here. Oh, excuse me. Hmm, man. Waiting for that one to come. Whew. And then this will be here, but this will be in the top panel right here. So when you pull that panel off, this comes out. Because it'll be attached to the plexiglass panel that we make. So, and then I've been toying around with this. 
This is out of the uh, hole saw. I forgot what size it is. But if we do something like this for the panel hold downs, I think that'll be pretty cool. So that's the next thing we got to do on this. That needs to be sanded. So let's set this over here. Made all the hardware for it. So, but we got to make uh, what? Two, two, four, six, eight, twelve, fourteen, sixteen of these. But I think that would be a slick idea. Yep. So, looks like I'm going to spend some time over there. See, it's all set up with the hole saw. But I gotta get some more plywood. I have to cut some. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, we got a piece. Yeah, we'll get in and cut a cut a section off down there, and we'll start and uh, see where we end up. So let's get this on. Let's move the Dremel, and uh, we're gonna have to pull this out a little because that's gonna be a little bit too big to slide in through there. So, but yeah, so. When I get more, I'll bring you guys back later. Hey, tubers, it's Saturday. Well, afternoon. I've been working all morning. Dang. Okay. Well, this has been primed, rattle can primed once. S added body filler in areas where it needed it. Block sanded. Or let me. Rattle can, block sanded, added filler rattle can now we got the glazing compound on it yeah so and we will go from 120 to this to 220 on sanding this and this is ready for the 2k so yeah I got all the paint out and this is the rattle can primer I'm using so so yeah so it looks like Sunday chores, then we got to get the, uh, and then we got to pull this out, clean the garage, and get ready. But I got to pull the old console out, or the old, <laughs> I got to pull the front console out, and uh, because I got work to do on the back, and that's got to be primed and painted as well. So we got to take all the panels off it and get it ready for paint too. So, but I'm only going to prime and paint one time. That's my goal. Yes, I just want to set this garage up once and prime it and sand it and do whatever body work I need to do and then go ahead and uh, and uh, prime it, wet sand it, and then uh, paint it. Yeah, and uh, we got, let's see, right on the S-bend on the front right there, we got uh, runs in that one, so we got to sand that down. So. Well, we got a lot to go before that happens because we still haven't even made it the, uh, the panels for the top. So we'll get this down in the, in the 220 scratch, sand this all down once it all dries, and then we'll bring the top in, top of what's out in the back patio. Well, you want to see it? we we'll walk through. New stove. It's got a blue inside. Check that out. It's got a built in air fryer. Me and chicken wings are going to become closely acquainted on that one. Ooh, 39 Chevy seat. There it is. Let's sit out here for a while and dry. We got a lot of areas. I noticed this one right here. So, and then we got that there. And then all along the top, it's 
so I'm just going to lay body filler across it because this is what you're going to see so in the side the sides are good a little there but yeah pretty much good so still haven't figured out what to do in here there's going to be a panel here panel here panel here and a panel here and I haven't figured out what to do there so all right I'm mumbling babbling uh, we're going to be clear sunny 70 72 73 degrees today now you know why I live here so so back out in the garage so I gotta break out the 220 on this that'll be prime scratching that so yeah so that's all I got for now when I get more I'll bring you guys back later I got the console out so I have to fill this backspace mat it rosin rondo see this I'm gonna have to tighten this up somehow maybe glass it in yeah because I had to cut it out to sit there and get the I couldn't carry it on and I just cut real close to the side there so maybe we'll just glass it in put some mat on the side of it and that ought to hold it yeah it's there pretty much but we need to secure it more so so that's what we got to do and then I told you I said in the corners here right here we got runs see starts here and goes all the way to there so we need to uh, sand those down uh, I'll probably paint just about from here back this forward won't won't get painted from here or about here forward won't this will because mainly it's right back here and I didn't get it knock on wood I didn't get any runs in this so so anyway yeah so okay so I want to be able to put the rosin up in this the last of the rosin work except for the 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 clamp or the nut plates that I made for the uh, for the top for the back so and so we got this to do and this to do so that's next up fill this up get this get some mat get some rosin mixed up and let's uh, clean this up first we're going to have to sand this down so let's get these off and we do all the sanding outside so we'll go and that's what the 39 Chevy's for front fenders are fat and wide yeah so more in a minute all right <clears throat> I'm gonna stop for a little bit it's going on four Nancy gets up in two and a half hours and I gotta cook dinner but tonight I got uh, been clean, cleaned off the tool bench we're in finishing mode now and I got the back up there <clears throat> resined in and you can see up there on on the base I resined in and matted in that side there the mounts to the top or to the back of the uh, console the rear console and that mounts to that so also sanded down the runs on the base where I got where I ran it I'm gonna look it over where I ran it and see if I ran it any on the top but then got the back to clean get some mud to throw down so the only thing that's further out is this it's it's still in uh, 100 grit scratch uh, we still have lots of fill work to do so and then plus we still got to glue on the uh, the homemade nut plates I guess you call them for the uh, panels and we have to make the panels so I want to do that before I paint because then if I have to let's say if if I have to trim up a little bit on here on here to get the panel to fit 
or trim the panel and here or whatever I still want to be able to do that and we won't paint until then so to clean up the runners in here yeah, this one's a little high yeah we'll have to work on that but yeah but that's what we got to do I mean look at look at this I mean you can go along this thing and just go nuts so see and then here here now the sides are pretty good you got this here and this here but I'm just gonna give a thin coat all the way down so so first next up is we'll be gluing in the uh, the wooden nut I guess nut plates or whatever you want to call these we'll glue these we start gluing these in along with that we will be clothing not mat cloth I'll have to get the cloth down from up there but we'll cloth these in too to give them any added give them some added strength so so when I get more I'll bring you guys back later see and then we'll this is two and a half ounce fiberglass cloth it disappears in, in the rosin and then what we'll do is we'll just sit there and bring it around and go from around to attach it more give it a little more rigid or structure so we have a total of 16 of these but one two four times four 16 so uh, I really should get in and start dinner all right when I get more I'll bring you guys back later hey tubers it's going on 10 <clears throat> I forgot where I left off. Those are all prepped pretty much, except for the back end I gotta work on. Uh, that's ready for 220, and we're putting the little wooden nut, nut plates, I guess I call them, on. And now we're <clears throat> adding the mat with them, and I just did, I did these two, I did that one. I want to see how far the mat's going to lift away, even though I crammed it down in there because you can see how much this one might be lifting. Uh, I just finished this one and I did this one. So it's just I'm trying to see what's how it's going to work. Uh, I didn't mix it, so maybe the best thing to do is maybe mix it a little hot and only do like three at a time or four at a time. And this thing sets up, bam, you know, and it doesn't have time to stretch out because that's exactly what happened there, and I didn't want that to happen. So, yeah, movie tonight is Midway, the latest one that just came out a couple of years ago. And so, yeah, so next on this one will be bot, uh, body filler, and uh, and I got to do some routing here. I had to take the the uh, plywood that I used the drill inserts from the plywood I used and I had to uh, had to cut two layers off I think that's this one and here's this one yeah I started cutting them off one at a time because we're trying to fit them back here because remember the panel sits here and hopefully it covers this gap if not it's you know then it's back that's like I said next is doing the panels so sitting here it just it's cocked up on an angle on the back so tomorrow I'll take Dremel and we'll round that out dig it out a little bit so that one will sit level and do the same on this side but yeah it's just yeah two layers it's a four layers I think here it looks yeah, see four layers, and I took the top two off. <clears throat> so, so that's where we're at. And right now I'm on a hold, and I know this is set up because if it wasn't, I, yeah, this is set up. So yeah, I only mix about that much rosin at a time on these. So, all right, everybody have a good evening and uh, we'll see what we tomorrow brings. Tomorrow is chore Sunday and Sunday night I'll load this whole thing up. I think this is this all week on this. Later. Hey tubers, it's late Sunday afternoon 
and I got out here and I glued the rest of these in and they're all rosin and cloth and clothed in so they're they're definitely it part of the structure now so now what we need to do is we need to start break out the body filler and start filling and massaging this thing then uh, once we get it to where we switch to 220 grit then we'll make the panels and start fitting those but uh, you, we have to do all that before we get into the final stages of primer so when I get more I'll bring you guys back later hey tubers Sunday night uh, watching Midway finishing it up second coat of mud on and then I took on my finger mud and crammed it into that around the holes on the mounting so so yeah so we will I will load this whole thing up this whole week I'm doing it weekly now I load it up and uh, tonight and uh, because this is all I'm doing on this this has got to dry yeah you know, I, I suspect we'll be doing this maybe once one more time on this before we really get it in looking like that so so when I get more I'll uh, bring you guys back we'll start tomorrow uh, the week of Thanksgiving don't expect too much out here so I want to thank everybody for watching subscribing and of course leaving comments and uh, we'll pick you up on the next one good night everybody <laughs>